Uh, good day, I'm Peter Townsend, Director of Amanzi Flow Projects in South Africa. I want to introduce to you to the Crest Gate, a very effective uh, gate which is suitable mostly on river weirs for the increase of storage and um, the passing of sediment and as well as flotsam some big uh, uh, branches and so on can easily pass over this gate. The, this gate has been developed and has been operating for more than 40 years successfully in South Africa. It consists of a buoyancy tank which is attached by means of a pivot axle to frame attached to a pier uh, on a spillway. It seals against the spillway and against the sides such that when the water level arises, water flows in through an intake, through the ducted arms and into the tank to flood the tank and the tank will then slowly start filling and will drop down. After the, the flood has receded and the water level it does not um, flow into the, into the, the arms, uh, water will decant from the gate itself and it will start emptying and it will come back again to its fully closed position. And that is effectively how the, the Crest Gate works. It can be operated manually uh, and automatically. The following animation indicates how the Crest Gate works. The Crest Gate is closed with the buoyancy tank empty to float on the water and increase the water level in the dam. As the water level rises due to a flood, water decants into an inlet weir which feeds the water through hollow ducted radial arms into the buoyancy tank. The tank slowly fills and as the weight of water in the buoyancy tank exceeds the flotation on the tank, the crest gate rotates downwards to open. The spillway then freely discharges the flood waters over the spillway, taking with it large objects carried down by the flood waters. As the flood abates and the water level subsides, water flowing into the inlet weir reduces and then stops flowing into the flotation tank. The water in the tank is constantly discharging through discharge pipes downstream of the spillway. This slowly decans water out of the tank to reduce the ballast weight in the tank and the crest gate floats up to its fully closed position. The crest gate therefore opens automatically to pass flood waters and closes automatically to retain the full supply level.